Some people in Chattanooga are not at home this Christmas, and it's not because they're at work or visiting family. It's because they don't have a home to go to. News Channel 9's Brandon Evans shows us how the community kitchen is helping those in need. It's a cold Christmas in Chattanooga, but thanks to the community kitchen, they're helping making it a little warmer for families in need. It's painful. It hurts your bones. Earl Spicer says he's grateful to have a place to get out of the cold. I've slept outside many a night, not recently because I've been coming in here. Very thankful for that. Community Kitchen not only serves three meals a day, but serves as a warming shelter in the colder months. But for some families, it's more complicated than that. It's Christmas. I have nothing to give my son. We've never been in this position before. Even though Santa himself made a trip to the community kitchen today, Mother Christina Wagner says she has to find a way to give her son a better life. He's a straight A student, wants to be a marine biologist, but everywhere we turn, there's, there's just nothing anyone can do. CEO Jens Christensen says they've been there since 1982 and will help some 600 to 700 people today. They have no other family to turn to than their family here at the Chattanooga Community Kitchen. But he knows more still needs to be done. We have uh, shelters that are operating throughout the year, family shelter, individual shelters, program shelters, job training, all kinds of things, and a lot of it is done through volunteers. Christensen says they have about 35,000 volunteer hours a year. But if you can't volunteer, you can fast. People could fast for a day or a meal or a week and donate what they would have spent on those uh, meals to the Chattanooga Community Kitchen. Christensen says they're only about $100,000 away from meeting their year-end goal of $750,000. I'm Brandon Evans, News Channel 9. If you want to help or take part in that fasting campaign, we've posted a link on our website, newschannel9.com.